Hi, I'm Dr. Riley, and now let's go over the arm muscles. Remember that when you're looking at the arm, the thumb side is the radial side, the pinky side is the ulnar side, this is extension, and this is flexion. So everything on this side is an extensor, and we just look at where these muscles are going. So this would be the extensor digitorum. Coming around to what's in your lab manual. What keeps coming off here is the biceps. And you know it's the biceps because there are two areas of origin, which is why it's called the biceps. <laughs> Underneath the bicep is the brachialis. Coming down here is the brachioradialis. Notice how it comes to the thumb. Brachio radialis. Here, what does this muscle do? Well, it flexes and it goes to the radial side. So it flexes the wrist, flexor carpi radialis. This one goes to the whole palm. So this is the flexor palmaris and the flexor carpi ulnaris. Flexor carpi ulnaris. Inside the scapula, we have the subscapularis. I have removed the deltoid, the deltoid muscle, and underneath the deltoid, you have above the spine of the scapula, the supraspinatus. Below the spine of the scapula, is the infraspinatus. Then you have the teres minor on top of the teres major. On the back of the arm are the triceps. Brachioradialis, once again, starts here and comes down onto the radial side. This muscle right here that goes across is the pronator teres. Once again, just take a look at where they're going and what they do. If it's going to the radial side and it flexes the wrist, then you're probably looking at the flexor carpi radialis.